Let the church say amen. Say amen one more time. Amen. Put your hands together. Give God a hand clap of praise. Amen. Amen. We thank God. Amen. For allowing us to be here today. Amen. Amen. I don't know about y'all. Amen. But I get excited when I'm able to enter into the house of praise one more time. Amen. Amen. With people who truly love the Lord. Amen. Because some people go to church. Amen. But they don't love him. Y'all don't hear me this morning. Amen. Some go to church, but they don't love him. Amen. It's a difference between a church attender and a Christian. Amen. Amen. But I truly believe, amen, there's some Christians down here, amen, who don't mind serving him. Amen. Amen. And we come to praise his holy name today. Amen. Because God has been good to all of us. Amen. And he's been better to us than we truly deserve. Amen. Amen. On today, amen, where we remember him, amen, with our communion. Amen. But we should always remember him and all the good things he do. Amen. So again, amen, we pray, amen, that you all come down here this morning to worship the Lord with us in spirit and in truth. Amen. Amen. together. We're going to have a good time this morning. Just can't stop. 
Amen. We come here to worship him this morning. Amen. At this time, we'll have our scripture reading by Minister Beatty and our prayer by Minister Gilliam. Good morning, saints. Our scripture reading is coming from Romans, the eighth chapter beginning at verse 24. For we are saved by hope, but hope that is seen is not hope. For what a man seeth, why does he yet hope for? But if we hope for that we see not, then do we with patience wait for it. Likewise, the Spirit also helpeth our infirmities. For we know not what we should pray for as we ought. But the Spirit itself maketh intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. And he that searches the hearts knoweth what is in the mind of the Spirit, because he makes intercessions for the saints according to the will of God. And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are called according to his purpose. Amen. Good morning, church. Let us pray. All wise and merciful God, we thank you for the opportunity just to call on your name. There's other gods out there that have eyes and can't see. They have ears and can't hear. Feet and can't walk, but we serve a living God. And it said that we must serve him in spirit and in truth. So we're saying welcome Holy Spirit into this place, into our hearts and into our mind, that we be more like Christ and less like ourselves. Yes, we ask and pray that you strengthen us where we are weak and build us up where we are torn down. As the old folks say, it's another day's journey and I'm glad about it. Oh, yes, I'm thankful that you allowed us to come out to this appointed place and worship you. To give you the honor, the glory, the majesty, and all that due to your holy name. Because truly, you have been better to us than we have been to ourselves. Sometimes you told us to stand and we sit. You told us to sit sometime and we stood up. You told us to go and we stayed. You told us to stay and we went. But we thank you, Heavenly Father, that in spite of all of that, you looked beyond our fault and you saw our need. Just as you did with the people in Jesus' days, as he came down, he had been telling them that he was going to come. And he came among his own, and they received him not. Let us receive you in everything that we say and do. We ask and pray that you forgive us of our sins, our iniquities, our transgression, the errors of our ways, and even our thought process. Because you told us that our ways are not your ways, and our thoughts are not your thoughts. You said that just as far as the east is from the west. Oh, yeah. But be with us and guide us and lead us and direct us in everything, oh God. Uh -huh. Matter of fact, you told us that we man is always to pray. We're to pray one for another. Yeah. Yeah. Pray for those that might be in the hospital or on their sick bed, and yeah. especially for the ones that don't know you in the free pardon of their sin, oh God. We pray that they get to know you before it's everlasting too late. We ask a blessing upon this church and not only New Prospect, but all churches throughout the land and the country. We ask and pray for our pastor and his immediate family and his extended family as well. Keep us all in your care, O oh God. 
everyone on the sign of my weak voice. We ask and pray, Heavenly Father, that as we go through this life, that we know we're going to have trials and tribulations. But just as Jesus overcame them all, so shall we. Through Jesus Christ, who's strengthened us. And Jesus, thank you for making intercession for us in prayer. If there's anything that we shouldn't say, we ask and pray that you blot it out of our mind. If anything we should say, we ask and pray that you give it to the Father, oh God. And Heavenly Father, you are the one that sit high and look low. Man might look at on the outward appearance, but you look at our heart. So we ask and pray that you examine our heart. And if we need a heart transplant, we know you're the one to do it, oh God. And when this life we know is over, we give you the honor, the praise. But in the meantime, let us be your feet. Let us be your hands. Let us be all parts of you, because it takes us all to make up the body of Christ. These things we ask and pray in Jesus Christ's name. And the church said, amen. stay he was me why has so Jesus paid it all
paid it all All to him I owe Oh, oh seeing as what crimson stain He watched me So glad he watched me Jesus watched me On the cross he watched me Jesus watched me By the blood he watched me us white as snow amen amen again amen we'd like to say welcome to each and every one of you and happy birthdays and anniversary to those that may be celebrating birthdays and or anniversary amen and on this coming saturday they ask that you join the hunter family at big boys on buckham road in greer uh saturday august the 7th at 2 30 to celebrate miss mamie hunter grady's birthday amen amen, amen. amen. Again, amen, we ask you to please keep those on the healing list in, in prayer. Amen. Continue prayers for Miss Gracie Jeffries. Amen. Miss Gracie has been in the hospital now, amen, for about a week and a half. Amen. She's still in the hospital at Spartanburg Regional. Amen. So we ask you please continue praying for her. Amen. She's getting better. Amen. She's getting better. Amen. But And, and, and I got to talk to her on last evening. Amen. And her heart is on the Lord and coming to the church. Amen. Amen. And, and I told her, amen, and I'll repeat it, amen, that her heart is, is on coming to the church, but she's just unable. And you got those who are able, and their heart ain't on coming. Amen. Amen. But continue praying for Miss Gracie. Amen. Also, amen, please keep all bereaved families in your prayers. Amen. We ask you to pray, amen, for Miss Shirley Gilliam and, and Brother Plute and family. Amen. Her father, amen, Mr. John, John Earl Simmons. Went home to be with the Lord this morning. Amen. 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 I believe he was 95, 96 years old. Amen. So please keep the Simmons family and Miss Shirley in your prayers. Amen. At this time, arrangements are incomplete. Amen. But as soon as uh, we find out or you all find out, amen, we will let each one know. Amen. Amen. But continue praying for them. Amen. Amen. Again, amen. We thank Minister Alexandra. Amen. For doing a wonderful job on last Sunday. Amen. 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 We thank each and every one of you. Amen. And again, amen. We pray, amen, that we continue, amen, doing things pleasing in God's sight. Amen. We pray, amen, that you all continue doing the things that God has laid on your heart. Amen. And I encourage y'all all the time to always pray, amen, as you turn on the news. Amen. The COVID numbers are starting to go back up. Amen. South Carolina is one of the lowest ranked states in vaccination. Amen. And the county, Cherokee, is the lowest ranked county in the state. Amen. We number 46 out of 46. Amen. So, again, amen, I have stated it before and I'll state it again. Amen. You do what's on your heart. Amen. But we do advise you, amen, to please continue protecting yourself. Amen. Amen. Wearing masks. Amen. I know nobody likes being shut up in the house. Amen. And it was rough on all of us last year. Amen. You couldn't go nowhere. Amen. You couldn't do nothing. Amen. And we don't want it to go back like that. And I don't think that the government is going to send it back like that. Amen. But we pray that you all continue wearing your mask and protecting yourself. Amen. Amen. But again, amen. We thank God for each and every one of you. We thank God that your hearts are on him. Amen. And you are here today. Amen. To serve and uplift God. Amen. Because he's truly worthy. Of all of the praise. Amen. Give the right family a hand as they come.
One more time. Amen. There's nothing that you've done good. Amen. There's nothing, amen, you can't pay your way. Amen. Amen. But it's God's grace and mercy. Amen. And I'm so glad about it. I'm glad to be here one more time. Amen. As you turn your Bibles to the book of Isaiah, chapter 46. Amen. We bring you greetings this morning. Amen. Glad to be here. Yeah. Amen. Sometimes, amen, our bodies don't feel well. Amen. But when we come to the house of praise, yeah. Yeah. amen, our soul gets happy. Amen. And it makes you forget about, amen, that pain you're dealing with. Yeah. Makes you forget about that headache, amen, that's yeah. throbbing you. Amen. Because I realize, amen, that many times, amen, Satan tries to bother us. When he knows, amen, that we have our heart set on serving God. Amen. Can I get a witness? Amen. Many times, amen, he comes a knocking and a bothering, amen. And that's why a lot of times, amen, you feel good Monday through Saturday. Yes, but on Sunday, sometimes, amen, you just don't feel well. Amen. amen. Sometimes, amen, things that ain't bothered you all week, they get to nagging you on Sunday. Amen. But I've learned, amen, my brothers and sisters, when I can press my way through. 
because I'm glad about it. When I can press my way through, amen, there's something waiting on the other side for me. If I can just get to the house, amen, amen. We got to be like the woman, amen, that with the issue of blood that touched the hem of his garment, amen, she pressed her way through because she knew what was waiting on her. Can I get a witness? And that ain't the sermon, amen, that's on the house. Amen. But as you turn your Bible to the book of Isaiah 46, amen, we bring you greetings this morning. God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit, amen, to our wonderful ministers, amen, our dynamic deacons, amen, our trustees, amen, who also, amen, they don't serve in the capacity of trustee, but since the COVID, amen, those guys have been helping us with the ushering, amen, and we thank God for those men, amen, amen, amen. to our mighty members, amen, we thank God for you, amen. amen. Because everybody is somebody Amen. in the eyesight of the Lord. The book of Isaiah, chapter 46, verse 3 through 9. If you have it, say amen. amen. If you need more time, say hold on. Amen. Verse 3 through 9, Isaiah, chapter 46. And it reads, Hearken unto me, O house of Jacob, and all the remnant of the house of Israel, which are born by me from the belly, which are carried from the womb. And even to your old age, I am he. Yes, and even to whore hairs will I carry you. I have made and I will bear. Even I will carry and will deliver you. Mm -hmm. To whom will ye liken me? And make me equal. And compare me that we may be like. Yes, they lavish gold out of the bag. And weigh silver in the balance. And hire a goldsmith and he maketh it a god. Yes, they fall down, yea, they worship. They bear him upon the shoulder. They carry him and set him in his place. And he standing from his place, shall he not remove? Yea, one shall cry unto him, yet can he not answer, nor save him out of his trouble. Remember this, and show yourselves men. Bring it again to mind, O ye transgressors. In verse 9, remember the former things of old, for I am God, and there is none else. I am God, and there is none like me. Yes, Amen. The word of God from the, for the people of God. Amen. We want to talk from a topic briefly this morning. No one like you. Amen. No one like you. There are many things that words cannot describe. Many of these things, amen, we attempt to describe, and words fail to do it justice. Yes, you know how it is, amen, when you are in grade school and you get that first little crush, oh, yeah. the one that give you the butterflies when him or her come around. Y'all oh, yeah. don't get quiet on me. On, amen. And, and you know, amen, that nobody can make you feel like at that age, like such and such make you feel. Oh, yeah. Can I get a witness? Amen. I want you to know this morning, amen, that God is one such thing. For how can we accurately describe God? Like many of you, amen, I know a few things about him. And one thing that I do know, amen, I know that he is a jealous God. Can I get a witness? Yes, amen. Exodus 20, amen, when he was talking to Moses, giving the Ten Commandments, the first commandment that he gave Moses was, Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Can I get a witness? Yes, amen, the God that brought you out of that mess. The God that gave you that job that you really wouldn't qualify for. The God, amen, who answered your prayers. Can I get a witness? How about you tell your neighbor, amen, there's no one like him. There's no one like him, amen. We must fully understand that God is a jealous God. Amen. And God, amen, will not permit any man made God or religion to take his place of the Almighty. And the reason why, amen, I know that there is no one like him, amen, the first reason, because he loves unconditionally. Can I get a witness? The scripture says, amen, who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Am I right about it? It says, not tribulation, amen, not distress, not famine, amen. And then it goes on to say, for I am persuaded that neither death nor life, nor things present, nor things to come, can I get a witness, shall separate us from the love of Christ. 
I just want to tell you this morning, amen, there's no one like him, amen, because there's nobody who's going to love you unconditionally. Am I right about it? I know, amen, you love your children, amen, beyond limits. Amen, but God loves us unconditionally. Amen, while we were yet sinners, the Bible says Christ died for us. Hey, that lets me know, amen, even when I wasn't on his side, he still had me on his mind. Am I right about it? That sounds like some unconditional love to me. Amen. Nobody, amen, is going to love us like God loves us. Amen. And we can't stress that enough. Amen. God loves you. Amen. He loves you. I don't care what thought Satan may put in your mind. I don't care how many bad things you have done. I don't care what uh, Sister Wenda and Brother Door tell you. God loves you. It's unconditional love. Amen. The only thing, amen, you can do to mess that up, amen, is if you don't believe in it. Because the only sin that he won't forgive you for is blasphemy against the Holy Spirit. Can I get a witness? That lets me know, amen, even when I find myself doing wrong, he still loves me. And that's a wonderful thing to know, Deacon Briggs, amen, that I serve a God who loves me unconditionally. Because one thing I know about those idol gods, amen, they can't love you because they are made out of man-made materials. Can I get a witness? And that's what we're talking about here in Isaiah 46, amen. We're talking about, amen, idol gods. The same idol gods, Miss Bessie, that the, that, the, that the Hebrews were making, amen, when Moses was on the mountain. Amen, when they gathered all the gold, amen, y'all know the story. Amen. They took the earrings, amen, the chains, all the necklaces, amen, and they got to making a God they could see because it was taking Moses too long. Y'all know how we do, amen. We talked about that the other week, how we don't want to wait. Can I get a witness? But yes, amen, we, amen, have to learn that we serve a God who loves us unconditionally, and when we truly grow as a child in Christ, we will love him unconditionally. That no matter what's going on in my life, I'm still going to love him. Amen. I feel like Job, amen, yet though he slay me, yet will, I trust him. That's some love right there, y'all. Can I get a witness? Yes, amen. He loves us unconditionally. And the next reason why I know, by, know there's no one like him, amen, he's the only one that can save you. This kind of goes hand in hand. John 3.16 tells us that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believe in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. Amen. That's love and that's saving you all in one sentence. Can I get a witness? Yes. Amen. He's the only one that can save you. Amen. And I know, amen, you think, amen, with your husband or wife, there's nobody like my baby. Amen. But your baby can't save you. Can I get a witness? Amen. I know you love your children. Amen. And there's nobody like your baby. Amen. But that baby can't save you. The only one that can save you was Mary's baby. Amen. It's the only one that can save you. Amen. That's why there's nobody like it. Amen. Deacon Wright sings a song, amen, searched all over, couldn't find nobody. High and low, couldn't find nobody, nobody like him. Can I get a witness? I want to remind you this morning, amen, that there's nobody like our God. Amen. But as we see, amen, if we remember in the book of Exodus, chapter 7 through chapter 9, amen, God sent Moses and Aaron to Pharaoh. God told Aaron, amen, to throw down his rod. God made Aaron's rod a serpent. Any Bible readers in here? Made him a serpent, amen. And Pharaoh's sorcerers and magicians were able to do the same thing with their rods. But the Bible says that Aaron's rod swallowed Pharaoh's men rods up. Can I get a witness? Goes on to say, amen, that when they turned, amen, when God allowed Moses to turn the river into blood, that, Moses, that, that Pharaoh's men, amen, were able to do the same feat. 
but they couldn't turn it back in the water. Y'all don't hear me this morning. Amen. It goes on to say, amen, that when, amen, they, God allowed Moses and Aaron, amen, to infest the land with frogs. Amen. Amen. Pharaoh's men, amen, were able to do the same feat, amen, but they couldn't get the frogs to go away. All I come to tell y'all this morning, amen, that sometimes Satan will try to trick you. That he has power that God has. But I want to tell y'all this morning, amen, that he's often imitated. But he's never duplicated. Can I get a witness? Because there's nobody like our God. Because the Bible says on in Exodus, amen, that Moses was able, amen, God through God, amen, the lights came. The locusts came, amen. The darkness came. The livestock were affected, amen. The hell fell. Balls were on the skin, amen. And, Mo and Pharaoh's men couldn't do none of that. I just stopped by here this morning to tell you that there's nobody like him. Can I get a witness? Yes, amen. I know some folks believe in Buddha. I know some believe in Muhammad. I know even some of the Chinese believe in Confucius. Yes, sir. But I want to tell y'all this morning that there's nobody like him. Amen. Am I right about it? Amen. Because if they call those three men's name right now, Amen. they're somewhere resting in a grave. Yes, but when I call on the name of Jesus, yes, because the God that I serve, he sits high and he's still looking low. Matter of fact, it tells us in the book of Psalms 121 that I will lift up my eyes to the hills from which cometh my help. All of my help comes from the Lord. Can I get a witness? And I know many who have died that if I call their name, they will fail to answer. I even know a few by the name of Jairus' daughter. I even know a few, the Shuamite woman with the son who Elijah helped. I even know a few, a man by the name of Lazarus. They were dead, but God allowed them to get up one more time. Can I get a witness? But what makes God so unique? What makes Jesus so special is that those people had to die again. That's why there's nobody like him. Because the God that I serve, the Bible says that he died too. Matter of fact, he was dead. But somebody said after three days, he got up. And when he got up, he didn't die no more. When he got up, he got up with power in his hand. That's why there's nobody like him. Can I get a witness? I want to tell you this morning that I know a God who's able to do exceedingly abundantly above. That's why there's nobody like him. I want to know this morning, have you tried him for yourself? When you try him for yourself, you're able to tell somebody that there's nobody like my God. Can I get a witness? I remember back in the day, back in the day, if you needed some medicine, you went to the drugstore. If you needed a part for your car, you went to the auto parts store. If you needed some groceries, you went to the grocery store. Can I get a witness? But then they made something. They made something called Super Walmart. It was a one-stop shop. Can I get a witness? I want you to know this morning that my God is a one-stop shop. Can I get a witness? There's nobody like him. If you need a healing, he has what you need. If you need a financial blessing, he has what you need. Can I get a witness? If you need some motivation, he gives you what you need. If you need some joy, he'll give you some joy. If you need some peace, he'll give you some peace. Is there anybody here that's tried my God? And don't mind telling, don't mind telling somebody that there's nobody like him. 
can I get a witness? There's nobody like God. He's the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. There's nobody like him. Can I get a witness? The Bible says that he's the same yesterday, today, and forever. That's why there's nobody like him because I go around this world. Some people are nice to me today and flip on me tomorrow. Even those other leaders, they might have been some good men, but they were wishy-washy. But the God I serve, if he healed you, he'll heal me too. If he saved you, he'll save me too. That's why there's nobody like him. Is there anybody here that don't mind telling somebody that there's nobody like him? There's nobody like him. There's nobody like him. I tried Jesus and he's all right. Tried him in the morning. He's all right. Tried him in the noonday. He's all right. I tried him in the midnight hour. And he's all right. Is there anybody here that don't mind telling somebody there's nobody like him? There's nobody like him. Try him for yourself. If you don't believe us, say, man, try him for yourself. There's nobody like him. Searched all over. I ain't found nobody like him yet. I ain't found nobody that loves me in spite of. I ain't found nobody that's willing to die so I can have eternal life. I ain't found nobody, amen, that'll rock me in the midnight hour. We ain't babies no more. I ain't found nobody, amen, that looked beyond my faults and still supplied my... I ain't found nobody. Nobody. Ain't he all right? Nobody. Doors of the church are open. Amen. There's nobody like him. Amen. You can try everything, but you're trying the wrong thing. But if you try Jesus, he's all right. He's all right. Amen. Maybe one to come, amen, who want to give their life to him. Amen. Would there be one? Searched all over. The wages of sin is death. Couldn't find no. But the gift of God is eternal life. I look high and low. You confess with your mouth. Still couldn't believe find in your heart that God rose them from the dead. Amen. You shall be Nobody saved. Nobody greater. Nobody greater. Uh, nobody greater than you. God bless. I searched all over. Couldn't find nobody. I look high and low. Still couldn't find nobody. Nobody greater. Nobody greater, Lord. Nobody greater than you. One can heal me like you can.
1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 25. After the same manner also he took the cup, when he had supper, saying, This cup is the new testament in my blood. This do ye as often as ye drink remembrance of me. For as often as ye eat this bread and drink this cup, you, de- you do show the Lord death till he come. Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread and drink of this cup of the Lord unworthy shall be guilty of the body and the blood of the Lord. But let a man examine himself, and so let him eat of that bread and drink of the cup. For he that eateth and drinketh unworthy eateth and drinketh damnation to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. For this cause many are weak and sick among you, and many are asleep. For I w- for if we judge ourselves, we should not be judged. For when we judge, we are chastened of the Lord, that we should not be condemned with the world. Wherefore, my brethren, when we come together to eat, tarry one another. And if any man let him eat at home, that ye comes together unto the condemn- condemnation. And the rest will I set 